Hello YouTube and welcome to another Cisco tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you a Cisco configuration archive and rollback feature. So are you ready? Let's get started. So sometime when you are configuring your router or we and you are loading actually configuration, this configuration may cause harm to your box or simply you will not have access to your box or Cisco device. So in order to avoid that, there is a feature in Cisco iOS that enables you to actually take a snapshot or copy of your configuration and start an automatic rollback timer. Okay. So actually when this timer finished, your configuration will be rolled back to the last saved config. Okay. So I will show you that using an example here. So as you can see here, I'm connected to my uh, Cisco router and I am on the global config mode. Okay. <coughs> so in order to configure uh, archive and rollback features, you must first enable the archive feature. So here inside the global config mode, I will simply type archive. Here we go. So now I'm on the archive config. So if I do a question mark, you see all the archive configuration commands. So there is a default execute, exit, log, maximum, no, path, rollback, time period, write memory. So here we're gonna configure just the most important one. So the first actually archive configuration command that we have to use is the path. So the path actually will specify where your current configuration will be saved. So remember, this feature actually will actually take snapshot of your configuration and start automatic rollback timer. So here we have to provide the path where this configuration will be saved. So most of the time we are using the flash memory inside our router, but of course you can use external secure copy server or you can use the FTP server or another server if you want. But here for simplicity we will be using just the flash memory in our router. Okay. And the next command also that we can actually configure is the maximum, which is the number of backup copies. So you can specify whatever you want here. So you can specify 10 or 12 or as you want. But here just to make it simple, let's just configure two. Here we go. So now we are done with this archive command. So we have actually configured here our archive feature. Okay. <coughs> so now let's actually see this archive configuration using another command which is show archive to make sure that we have configured the archive feature so here you can see the maximum archive configuration allowed is two there are currently no configuration saved the next archive file will be named flash a timestamp and something like that okay so we can actually start uh, using actually archive. So if let me just write some configuration, here we go. So now we are building the configuration. So if I type the same command once again, you see you still have no configuration file. Okay, so let me go to uh, see the content of the flash memory with command dire. You can see that we still have no archive has been saved. Okay, so the next step is to configure actually this feature, this rollback feature. So in order to configure it, pretty simple. And the uh, privilege exec mode we type the command config okay or configuration or configure actually configure terminal then revert okay then the timer here keyword 
then here we have to specify the actually the timer in minutes so if I tap for example here one so after one minute the configuration will be rolled back okay so let's test that let's use a timer of one minute and do some just some simple changes to our configuration and see if this configuration will be changed or rolled back in one minute so here as you can see uh, the host name for our router is r01 let's change it for example for r r02 and see the changes how much time they will be actually last so now we have configured rollback so as you can see here rollback confirm it change it backup in current running configuration to the flash so here the archive function has been actually initiated so let's change host name host name so to r02 for example here we go so you can see here the prompt the host name of our router has changed from r01 to r02 and now let's wait for one minute so normally after one minute the configuration will be rolled back and the prompt actually or the host name for our router should or must be changed back to the last config which is r01 so let's wait for one minute and see the result So here we go you can see now that uh, actually the configuration or the host name for our router has changed it once again to r01 to its default config because actually we have configured the rollback actually feature so you can see how powerful is this uh, rollback features it allows us to actually roll back to the last saved config in our flash in case of for example something unwanted happens okay so let me uh, change it once again to uh, r03 this time for example so normally if i hit enter so after one minute if nothing happens the configuration will be returned back to r01 so here we are now in r r03 but after one minute there will be a roll back to r01 so if you want actually your configuration to happen now you don't want to wait one minute you can just use the command configure then revert or actually first i have to exit then you have to type configure revert then now if you don't want to wait this minute okay there is another command that you can actually uh, use also if you want the changes to remain you can execute configure confirm method so here after one minute the prompt actually will return back to r01 okay so if you want your changes to stay and not to roll back all you have to do is to execute the command configure then commit so if i do question mark here you can see configure confirm confirm replacement of running configuration okay so you can just sample type configure confirm if you want the changes to remain so here the host name will remain r03 even if one minute has actually been elapsed okay so that was just a brief introduction to this uh, useful command that you can use in order to roll back your running configuration to the last saved one in case if you want to make some changes to your router and you are afraid that these changes will cause harm to your Cisco devices. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.